Senate Speaker Kenneth Lusaka has ordered Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Kiter and his petroleum and mining counterpart John Munez to appear before the Senate next week to answer over the high fuel prices. Industry experts, however, say the move could be too little too late as mechanisms for reprieve lie in the elimination of taxes by the National Assembly and the goodwill of oil marketers, marketing firms to sell fuel below the maximum prices set by the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority. Let's get more from our very own Faisal Ahmed. The historic climb in fuel prices released on Tuesday once again exposed the government of Kenya. Citizen Television has learned that the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, had hoped that the National Treasury dug deeper into the Petroleum Development Fund to once again cushion Kenyans from the high fuel prices, but with little success. Left on its own, the regulator dispatched a 30-day pump price late in the day to the shock and anger of many Kenyan households and motorists. The 7 shilling added cost per litre of petrol sent the price to an all-time high of 134 shillings and 72 cents per litre of petrol. This marking the end of the use of the fund, which is a special scheme created to cushion Kenyans from high petrol prices, from high petrol, diesel and kerosene costs. The issue is not with the way the prices are today. The issue is what is making the prices rise. If the prices are rising, then something needs to be done. And this lies squarely on the government. The use of the fund, also loosely referred to as the fuel price stabilizer, had kept the cost of a litre of petrol at 127 shillings and 14 cents in the price reviews for April and July. But the concerns of many Kenyans are the high taxes charged on petroleum products locally. The government battles between keeping its offices running and protecting the livelihoods of Kenyans. Taxes account for 43.7% of the overall cost of a litre of fuel products in the country. This besides the volatility in the global oil prices that continue to push the cost of a barrel of oil higher. Out of the 134.72 shillings for a litre of petrol in Nairobi, 60 shillings and 35 cents or 44.8% of this is the landing cost of the commodity. 58 shillings and 81 cents or 43.7% goes towards eight different taxes levied on petroleum products. The only way the government would have to do something to make sure that they mitigate or they give um, a reprieve to the common monainchi is by probably organizing themselves in a way that they can have what we call strategic reserves, if you ask me. In an attempt to play catch-up, the Senate has summoned the Cabinet Secretaries of Energy and Petroleum next week on Tuesday to once again explain how the review prices work. Mr. Speaker, explain why fuel prices are much higher in Kenya compared to landlocked neighboring countries, including Tanzania, Uganda. Yet they collect the fuel from our port in Mombasa, Mr. Speaker. Such is the matter that you invite the committee of the whole to sit through together with EPRA and the Ministry of Energy to come to the floor of this house and explain. Because, Mr. Speaker, when, this, when members of this house retreat to their constituencies this weekend, I can assure you, in every gathering that you will appear, people will want to lynch you because of the price that they are paying, even those who don't drive cars. The pump prices are even expected to climb higher as global economies open up with the rollout of vaccination. This will see the demand of both crude and refined oil continue to soar, hence pushing the prices higher. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.